Hey, welcome back YouTube. My name is Mike Swartz. Today, I'm going to share with you guys how to use global drawing objects for NinjaTrader. Yes, this is going to be another video in the NinjaTrader tutorial series. I have at least 11 or 12 videos at this point, and I plan to keep adding new topics. So if you guys have any questions regarding the NinjaTrader 8 platform, please put it in the comment section down below because I will add it to this series going on in the future. That way, you know, if you have this question, there's a great chance that other traders also have the question. I want to, you know, condense all the resources to one playlist. So, you know, when traders have problems, they have a resource they can go to. It's free, it's easy to access, and they can find all the videos within the playlist. And if you want to go ahead and check out that playlist now, there'll be a link in the top right hand corner of the screen. It'll take you to that Ninja Trader 8 tutorial series, and you can view all the topics that we've covered up to this point. So, if we go ahead and we go between the daily chart, in the five minute chart for this example, you can see we have no horizontal lines on the chart. But let's say for some reason, I find that this is a significant level. And I wanna go ahead and mark this off on the daily chart. We may say, Mike, how'd you get that level to pull up? I hit a hotkey. And again, there's a video in the playlist sharing with you guys how to set up hotkeys. But you can also come right down here to drawings and the horizontal line is right here. You see how it takes a little bit longer to figure out where it is. A hotkey makes things much, much easier. But essentially, once I draw that horizontal line across my screen, you can see it comes right across onto the five minute chart as well. To me, this is very, very important, especially when I'm marking off my volume profile levels. You guys have seen the videos I put out in the morning before the market opened, sharing with you guys the volume profile levels. Once I mark those levels off on my chart, they're across all of my screens. So it makes it a lot easier for me to, to be able to see those levels regardless of the time frame chart or the bar type that I'm trading. So if I'm trading a range chart, if I'm trading an algo bar chart, if I'm trading you know, a, a tick chart, whatever it may be, I'll be able to see that same level across all screens. And if you guys have ever wanted to see how I trade the volume profile rotation or through the different levels, you guys will know that I always mark off these horizontal lines on my screen. And I'm gonna put a link in the top right hand corner of your screen. It'll take you to a video that you may wanna check out how I can trade those volume profile levels with a lot less risk. And I'm gonna show you guys how I actually use Algobox to really minimize my risk by half or less. And I show you guys in that video that going through those levels, there was basically two stop losses I could have used. One would have been a 15 point stop loss for the ES. The other one was roughly a five point stop loss, I believe it was. And with Algobox, I was able to get it to the largest trade I had in that series was roughly a three and a half point risk. One of the trades I think had a two point risk, another one 0.75 of a point risk. So again, you may wanna check that video out. There'll be a link in the top right hand corner of your screen. You'll see a little thumbnail pop up and there'll be a card that you can click on and it'll take you to that video as well. All right, so let's go get back to the topic of this video. How do we set this up on our chart? It's very simple. So the very first thing that we need to do on each individual chart that we have set up, and you should really set this as your layout default, would be right click on the chart, go to data series. Now we need to go ahead, we need to make sure show global drawing objects is checked on every chart that you want this to show on. Now, every time I create a new chart, I already have this set up to where it automatically defaults and has this box checked. So make sure that box is checked. If that box is not checked, then the remaining steps are, it, are not gonna work, simply put. All we have to do is left click on the horizontal line once we have drawn it. Then we wanna right click and we wanna go to properties. Now, this is gonna be important. So right here in the drop down, when you first draw it, it's just gonna show the time frame of the chart that you drew the horizontal line on or whatever drawing object that you use. So we need to go ahead and we wanna put this to all charts. Once we go to all charts, that line will be projected on the daily, 30, a tick, a range, whatever chart has the ES, the same contract on it, that level will be projected onto that screen as well. Now, when we go ahead and, so we don't have to go back and repeat this step over and over again. There's one more step we need to take. Come right down here to templates. We wanna click save. And what I would encourage you to do is just click save as default and then go ahead and it'll take you out of that screen. Now, every time that we use this drawing object, it'll go ahead and it'll project that across all your screens. Now, if you wanna, if you like, um, for instance, maybe marking off zones on your chart, there's an awesome drawing tool that we can do that as well. And you can see it's 
the region highlight Y. You see I use it a lot, it's on my F11 hotkey. And we just drew this level right here, we come to the daily chart, and you can see it right here. Now it might not look like a region so much, but you can see it on that time frame as well. And it becomes very important, especially when you're doing higher time frame analysis, trying to project down to your lower time frame. So you can see here is the level that is drawn on the chart. And we would do this the same way we just did the horizontal line across. I would left click it to where this activates this drawing tool. Then go to right click, go to properties. And again, you wanna make sure this is set to all charts. Then we go down here to templates, save, and then you just wanna hit save as default so it does it every time. Now, if you're a trader that likes to use the Fibonacci retracement tool or extension tool, you can set that up the same way on those tools. And here would be an example of this, Fibonacci retracement tool, left click on it, then right click to go to properties. And I can put right here where it says all charts. And then if I wanted to always have this saved, I could save as default, but I have a lot of different other Fibonacci um, templates already set up. So I don't wanna mess that up. I'm not gonna go ahead and project that out for the time being, but you can see now on the daily chart, we should be able to, oops, uh, let me go back to this real quick. Let me just do that for, I don't wanna save it, but let's go ahead and go to all charts. All right, so the Fibonacci tool should project on all charts. Let me zoom this back over. And here you go, we can see the Fibonacci levels that we have drawn on that five minute chart now projecting across all time frames. So again, any drawing tool that we draw, you should be able to, you know, make it where it's a drawing object where you can see it across all of your screens. Like always, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Till next time, good luck and good trading.